Hey guys, welcome back to In The Dark. So recently I kind of messed up and I used a new microphone and I accidentally set it to um, Omni Pattern uh, by accident. I wasn't looking and I accidentally clicked the button. Uh, I just moved to a new spot. I haven't put the acoustic treatment up and uh, I was actually trying to do the voiceover and I got all the reverberation. So today what we're going to do is we're going to be taking a look at Era D from Accusonus. This is basically a uh, denoiser and a de-reverberation plugin. It's a very powerful tool and to be honest I grabbed it because I've heard good things about it and the plugins that I use personally to clean up my audio were not cutting it and they weren't doing a very good job. So let's just get straight into this and let's listen to this because you can see how it sounds really bad. And here we go. So as you see here, we're gaining a little bit of headroom again because we're kind of using that natural tape compression and uh, saturation. I'm kind of digging the way it sounds. I think it sounds a lot thicker, a lot fuller, and it still has a lot of vibe. Let's just listen to the, to the dynamics and the way it... So that sounds like I'm in a bathroom. So let's just start with this. These controls are basically the controls to have the processing. This is 0%, this is 100%, this is 0%, 100%. So uh, I'm going to do this at 50-50, and let's bring this in. Cool. So as you see here, we're gaining a little bit of headroom again because we're kind of using that natural tape compression and uh, saturation. I'm kind of digging the way it sounds. I think it sounds a lot thicker, a lot. So we have the time constant for the reverb. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that to dial in how much we're going to need. So I'm going to grab the most reverberant part, loop that, and then we're going to start messing with this. Saturation. I'm kind of digging the way it sounds. I think it sounds a lot thicker, a lot fuller, and it still has a lot of vibe. Let's just listen to the saturation. I'm kind of digging the way it sounds. I think it sounds a lot thicker, a lot fuller, and it still has a lot of vibe. Let's just listen to the saturation. I'm kind of digging the way it sounds. I think it sounds a lot thicker, a lot fuller. Cool, that sounds really freaking good. Um, let's bring this up a little bit. Let's see what's going on. Saturation. I'm kind of digging the way it sounds. I think it sounds a lot thicker, a lot fuller, and it still has a lot of vibe. Let's just listen to the saturation. I'm kind of digging the way it sounds. I think it sounds a lot thicker. Okay, that is night and day. Let's uh, loop a bigger section. Drill tape compression Bypass and uh, saturation. I'm kind of digging the way it sounds. I think it sounds a lot thicker, a lot fuller, and it still has a lot of vibe. Okay, see, that's really impressive. That's ridiculous on the impressive scale. So what I'm going to do now is uh, let's add the denoising section, and let's mess with that. Again, these controls are basically uh, together. Now, this is multiband. I just linked it right here, but you are able to go into each band and zero in on the crossover so you can really get it wherever you want. So let's see with the noise. Drill tape compression and uh, saturation. I'm kind of digging the way it sounds. I think it sounds a lot thicker, a lot fuller, and it still has a lot of vibe. Let's just listen to the, to the dynamics and the way it responds to everything. Drill tape compression and uh, saturation. Cool, now let's do both in uh, cascade mode, which is basically a denoiser and then de-reverb. Drill tape compression and uh, saturation. I'm kind of digging the way it sounds. I think it sounds a lot thicker, a lot fuller, and it still has a lot of vibe. Let's just listen to the, to the dynamics and the way it responds to everything. Okay, that sounds really good. Let's see how it sounds if we loop this a whole section again. Cool. So as you see here, we're gaining a little bit of headroom again because we're kind of using that natural tape compression and uh, saturation. I'm kind of digging the way it sounds. I think it sounds a lot and thicker, a lot fuller, and it still has a lot of vibe. Let's just listen to the, to the dynamics and the way it responds to everything. Okay. That's it. <laughs> that sounds... Okay, that's it. That sounds fantastic. I mean, I spent a good hour earlier processing this stuff. Um, and to be honest, I grabbed this demo and I was really hoping that this was going to help at least, but I did not expect it to be this good. Now, this is a really cool plugin. So I'm definitely going to be doing another video on this. And we're going to have a whole full-on article on this because this thing is a lifesaver. I'm going to have to show you guys how you can use this to fix uh, acoustic guitars that have some uh, noise bleed. And I'm going to have to show you guys how uh, you can do it on um, cabinets, especially guitar cabinets and bass cabinets. So stay tuned. And I hope you guys like this video because I'm going to totally do a whole section and segment for this because this thing is amazing. Um, this is Era D by Accusonis. And uh, I'm Jerry Mateo for In The Dot. And I will see you guys. Bye.